Hello everyone, I'm Dorotea and I'm at the Wando Public Library and I'm bringing here to you a virtual trip. We are going to go to Japan. It is a place I have visited and I loved it there. I will describe it to you and share some pictures that I took while I was there. You can look at the pictures and imagine that you were there with me. The place that we're going to be virtually visiting today is Nara Park in Japan. Have you ever been to Japan before? Nara Park is one of the oldest public parks in Japan and is famous for the wild deer called Shika. Visitors can purchase deer crackers to feed the Shika and they will even bow for food. Have you ever fed a wild animal before? Imagine watching someone standing in front of a small deer. The person bows in respect then the deer bows its head. After this exchange, the person holds out a large, round cracker, which the deer eagerly eats. My experience, especially when I first arrived at the park, was being surrounded by several deer, all eager and impatient to get to the crackers I held. One even took a bite from the corner of the park map in my pocket. According to folklore, Shika deer were first seen as sacred, but after World War II, their sacred status was officially removed. Now they are protected as national treasures. What other animals, places, or things have become national treasures? Now I'm going to read a legend from Japan. This legend is called Tama the Lucky Cat. Once there was a tired and hungry white cat with orange spots. She wandered down a mountain and stopped at a rundown temple. A monk at the temple saw her sitting at the gate with one paw raised. It looked like she was waving the monk closer. He smiled and brought her in, gave her food, and named her Tama. Even though he had little food for himself, he cared for Tama. The monk thought, surely this cat will bring luck. Then, one day, a renowned samurai warrior was traveling through the country when a storm blew in. When the samurai looked for shelter to wait out the storm, he saw a full and beautiful cherry tree. And then he saw the rundown temple. He decided to wait at the cherry tree. But then, without warning, Tama ran out of the temple and into the storm. The monk could not stop her. Tama stopped at the gate to the temple and sat down with one paw raised like she was waving. The samurai saw her and thought she was beckoning him closer. Curious, he stepped closer to her and away from the cherry tree. Just then, like the gods of thunder and lightning, a lightning bolt struck the cherry tree and brought it crashing down where the samurai had just been standing only a moment before. The samurai thanked Tama for saving his life. Then he decided that the temple would become the worshiping place for his family. He restored the temple and it was beautiful. People came from all over to worship at the temple and the monk never had to worry about food or upkeep again. This tale was adapted from the children's book, I Am Tama, Lucky Cat by Wendy Henricks.